Okay, as we continue with the plant, we'll do more and we'll put them around here as well. And as well, let's rotate towards camera, mostly on the heels. Want them rotate towards the camera so they will create a little bit more like natural kind of almost look this way. Okay, and right here we'll need another tree. Um, we can go and select uh, probably just that tree. This dead tree, let's um, shrink down and place it almost like it's fall down. Right around here. Kind of like in the water. Okay, I'm also probably going to edit this one tree. Okay, and I'll take now and just increase maybe 148 so it will have it um, kind of a little bit more twisty effect on our tree. So we'll have it on the back. Right there, it's take a second till it's updating. Okay, and you can see it's actually not bad how it's twisting towards river, so we can actually bring a little bit more. And again, I want to squeeze like this a little bit on the side. I know it's not necessarily will look, but it will create this flatten a little bit more look for us. Okay, let's adjust, bring up. I got something up around like this. Remember, save your work all the time. Okay, next let's go create maybe one more dead tree. It will just put it somewhere on the side. Around here again, we'll shrink it, make it a little bit smaller. Just to add a little bit more effect. Okay, we'll go add um, another atom. And I want to place now a little bit closer to the camera. So somewhere around this here. So add bushes. Let's go create more trees. And this um, try to mix them by different colors, different styles, because this is uh, kind of would create more unique look on this. So we have a tree. And we're going right there. Um, we'll put it smaller plant closer, but now I want also to create this little bit shade overhanging. So when we create another plant, we want to create almost um, like a camera, well, over a camera going this way and towards camera as well. So now it's we will have almost like forest going over. So you know what, same things, Alt, Alt or Option. Let's drag this tree because we'll rotate this way and place it maybe somewhere like right here. So add overhanging and you can see more shadows. Let's add bigger tree. In this tree we don't see it but I want to use it, this tree more as a shade creator for us. So the shadows. Maybe right there. Actually, if we're going from this point, we want to add more shadow around there and right around here. So if we duplicate it, tree will put it right there. It so will drop some shadows and let's, you know what, create also on there. Okay, you can see how it's already start having this little bit messy look. Um, this point, I want to take all of these trees 
and we'll create new folder. Here are trees, we'll go name this. And we'll take all of these trees and we'll place it there. So the reason why I like to separate, then when your system is get slow, we can always hide them. So we can say, okay, do not display, do not render and hide. In this case, you can see they disappear and it makes it much easier to work with other elements. So like right there, now we can leave it lighting up our system because I want to work on this area right here to creating with the grass kind of plants. Okay, we'll go select, we'll go to the grass and plants. And now we can select, um, for example, the animals. we can put it around the area. Let's select another one. Same, notice they don't display because they are down here. So I won't take them and put it by the terrain so we can see the location. Okay, we're going to create another one. And they will be on the edge of the water. We'll make this one smaller. Place it a little bit in the water. Okay, create another one. Just create a few of them by the shore. Okay, right here. And one on the ground. Okay, let's add a few more right around this area. So right here. Yeah. We'll add more and more of them. So a little bit like in the water, and you can see um, how they add this nice um, pleasure. Remember, we'll have additional rocks and other elements. So let's go ahead now select different plants again. Um, try to make it different, try to um, go around them and select total difference. It will help you to look a little bit more natural. Okay, let's what do we have next? We have the grass. We also have it. Well, I think this is about right. We can, of course, can put firm, but that one I want to actually hide a little behind. So that one will add more kind of volume to our river. Okay, putting down here. Remember we have other plants also will be around there, so it will be kind of work very well together. Okay. Let's add this point and we still don't have anything on this right up front. So for this one, I want to use it um, smaller plants. So we'll go to use it small grass field plants we can, but they will become very teeny tiny. So in uh, some case we want almost paint them because otherwise they will become you can see the teeny tiny it's very hard to see them run there and we'll see we'll, okay, we'll paint but so far we'll just select all these planes and drop them around rocks so it's still one right there we're missing something so let's go see if we can find um better looking dry bush. Okay. 
Yeah, we can try that one. Okay, it's not available right now, so we go. Yeah, those ones we need to purchase, kind of downloaded them. So we'll see what you have in your park. So we'll try to avoid those one for downloading. Um, again, we have where's the other some one other one. So we have we use this one too, and we also have a pine tree. We can use it. And the lime tree, so we can use that one. Okay, I think yeah, we can go to select this one. Let's select late summer one. That's will be a little bit different color. And we can shrink this quite a bit smaller. Okay, even a little bit less. And smaller right there. And we'll just bring right about this edge. So just add more messiness to our um, creation. Okay, let's go for now re-enable this one. So re-enable all, all of the trees, all plants here. You can see how we have a little bit more messy effect. And uh, we can in next we can start working on atmosphere. And of course, we will come back probably to add more plants, reposition them, see how they will going as we're going along with this creation.